a viewer sent me two of these. Uh, it's like he sent them 5 8 2019, so like a year and a half ago. How considerate of me to act so quick. From uh, Bulgaria. And that is so cool that people in Bulgaria watch these insane videos and are willing to send cool items they find. And if I remember right, he found a bunch of these in the trash and thought that I might like to feature a couple of them. Looks like the name is Constantin, so thank you very much, Constantin. I don't know if that's the first or last name, but I believe he sent me two of these. This is a SoCal Model 308 AM FM made in USSR. Nine volt, twenty milliamp. I love these Russian radios. It looks like the uh, battery cover is missing here. So it has that weird FM band. Um, weird to me. Looks like it's about 65 to 73 megahertz. I wonder if we can tweak that. Maybe we could tweak it. I don't know if we could tweak it up 10 megahertz, but uh, you have to go more than that. We'd have to, even if we wanted to get like the NPR stations at the bottom of the band, we'd have to go up like 20 megahertz. So medium wave, which is in meters, which is our AM broadcast band. And then we have short wave, uh, 31 to 50 meters, maybe. And it looks like it's got some use. Wow, AFC. And I took a look. These are kind of a plenty on eBay, so if this strokes your boat and you'd like to have one well there you go support your uh, Ukrainian fundraising efforts and buy one of these from Ukraine or Russia I pulled the schematics on it one thing I love about the Russian Soviet electronics is the schematics seem to be a plenty where with the domestic stuff you always have to buy it unless you're lucky and can find it. Um, we don't need to read Russian to be able to figure this out. The schematics are pretty much in a universal language. There are several different types of print. Here's all the alignment. And it's a pretty poor print. It's very light Here's our specifications, 600 milliwatt audio output, frequency response is 100 hertz to 11 kilohertz. Um, here's our diagram for our string. Here's another version of the schematic. Transistor GT404. GT313, it's our high frequency FM RF amp, and then it looks like we have a chip here for the FM oscillator. And then it, it according to this, it's a 10.7 IF, just like the domestic stuff. 10.7 IF and 6.6 um, .6 to 11 megahertz on the short wave 525 to 1605 on the medium wave and um, can't really read that 62 to 73 the IF is 465 and 10.7 excuse my printer it's almost worthless worthless 
So we got another IC right here. We got an IC here. So let's uh, power it up and see what it does. Hey, it might just work. Let's take a look at the inside. Taking a look at the inside. I swear these things were almost like military quality, some of them. Look, look at all the trimmer capacitors in here. Looks like this might be a, lot, a later version than this because these are germanium transistors. GT322, GT, those are, those are all germanium. So this must be a later version. There's the FM discriminator ratio detector diodes right there. Our certified SSSR speaker. It's probably the AM detector there, maybe. Looks like it uses silicon. Some silicon and some germanium. The output look like germanium. Those, these, probably the push-pull output. The tuner section. Lots of crappy electrolytics. Let's open this up. You can see someone's been in here. Oh, there's your... Uh, GT313 right there, FM front end. I just like looking at it because it's a whole different world, right? It's a whole different political philosophy and you don't have the capitalist thing where it's like constantly you got to have the new model every year so people keep buying stuff. Also, the other interesting thing about this is, you know, most radios going back quite a ways were internationally world radios. You know, they were made of parts assembled in this country of parts from all these different countries. I think this is made in Russia by Russians of Russian components. I don't think any of this stuff in here is made from... Uh, going to be interrupted by the bird here. Uh, nothing in here is international. This is not made of parts from 50 different countries. This is made in Russia of Russian parts. Okay, I should have uh, 9, 10 volts post it up here and I hear a little pop when I connect the power but let's see you know what I might just do I might just oh I hear something Spray this volume control.
radio. Out in the front cloudy skies and some mild temperatures. Uh, just, I wouldn't even say they're really warm. They're just kind of mild, 70s and 80s. Uh, Northern Valleys could reach the 90s. Uh, when I was 69 degrees in Long Beach, 1257 and Anderson, 70 News Radio. Gary, I really want to refine my new... Okay, very quiet, but super sensitive. Warsaw. Wonder what's on Warsaw. Election day after all the campaigning. Totally opposed to defunding the police officers. Safe vaccine that quickly ends the pandemic. All the debate. We can't lock ourselves up in a basement. Okay. Do that. That's what you're looking for. Uh, I'm going to think bad electrolytics here. Is a is the speaker isolated with an electrolytic? Yes, it is. Five hundred micro puffs at uh, fifteen volts. Same thing. This is, I guess that's our feedback line. Let me see. So this is, I can't read this. C. What we're going to do is I'm going to heat these up with a soldering iron. Keep in mind this channel is focused on diagnostics rather than just wholesale recapping. Yeah, 90% chance if I just replaced all these capacitors it would fix it, but then it would lose its original Russian flavor. I mean, look at these capacitors. That's a 200. I mean, look at how big this is for a 500. I don't know which one it is. Um, this is the one that couples from the transistors to the speaker. It's one of these three. Okay, that one doesn't seem to be doing anything. Usually, when you warm them up, the ESR goes down. Okay, heating the capacitors up didn't work. It, it sounds like it's in the audio amp section. So, let's do this. I'm going to start bridging these capacitors. Road closures remain in place, including the 133 East. Well, that sure happened quick. Corona, 
So probably all the capacitors are open. Okay, what I have here is I have a thousand at 16 volts, and this is this value is not critical. All this does is keeps the DC off the speaker. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to to keep the original look. I'm going to pull this capacitor out. I'm going to fold one of the leads over underneath because uh, it's in this plastic housing looking thing and then when I'm, I have room I'm gonna put this one right see I have room for it to be down down here I'm gonna put this one on the bottom I wish I had a 470 but I don't and I'm not gonna go to the store for this because the difference there's no difference between 470 and a thousand besides the size for this for this purpose it's the base response is not going to increase if I go from a 470 to a thousand so um, I'm gonna just put this here and uh, keep it looking Russian on the top so let me do that okay it's not ideal and some people might not approved approve I used uh, my Teflon sleeve off of oxygen sensor an old oxygen sensor so nice Teflon sleeving uh, like I say I should use the 470 at 16 but I got a thousand so we'll go with a thousand uh, let's see have you decided who you're voting for I'm attorney Derek holy crap what a difference that made yeah, normally I'm the one reminding you to please just shut up. But now is the time to speak up by casting your ballot. Let's no try some of these other work, ones make here. Sure your voice is heard. And whether you're celebrating victory with a cold one or lamenting defeat with a cold one, remember 1 800 No Cuffs, because the cops are out there no matter who wins. 1 800 No Cuffs, since no one looks good in handcuffs, unless you're into that sort of thing. 1 800 No Cuffs. Black Friday deals now. Video and audio center's biggest deals ever, plus free setup. Take this Sony H. 85-inch XBR TV, only $16.98. The 75-inch Samsung Smart TV, only $8.47. The 65, only $5.27. Or take this 55-inch Samsung, three ninety. Hey, that one it's seems a little weak. I think that's a 200, because when I bypass it, the base gets a little... That's probably an emitter bypass capacitor. Audio center. In today's market, we think there are a lot of... Okay, I'm looking at a, a bunch of the smaller capacitors, and it looks like they've been replaced with the actual Russian capacitors. And I went through and I bridged all of the rest of them, and the only one that seems a little weak is maybe this one. But it's so minimal, I can barely hear it. I think I'm going to be happy with this. There's FM. Oh yeah. So So will it pick stuff up? Yeah, it'll pick up images. So it'll pick up the frequency minus the IF. So if 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 it's or plus the IF. So if it's 70, it'll pick up 70 plus 10.7. Let me put it together. So I'm on FM. FM is like 65 or 64 to 73. So that doesn't even make sense because 73 plus 10.7 would be like 83.7. Well, it was picking up the blah 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 before I put it back together.
What happened? Okay, short wave. So this is fine tuning. hot radio. This is a really, really hot radio. A little crunchiness in the tuning capacitor there. I have to work that out. Well, why was it picking up the images on FM and then it stopped? if that's a digital television station. Somebody alerted me, or a lot of people alerted me, that we still have uh, some of our TV stations are still digital, are, are in the lower band. So that would be like 71 to 73. It's pretty wide. It's about 4 megahertz wide. Sure you do, and I bet it can be hard. This is a really. L I think the capacitor for the AVC has gone way up in value because it. Go to Geico.com. Get a quote. Hear how long the delay is. It's a legitimate problem for Democrats, indeed. Publicly, to inoculate himself from the charge, his career is corruptly enriching his family, and now that is a serious... Let me? Yeah, what? Like, and I, and I froze up. It's one bottle for sleep, one for... Algo loco, pero... I think these things, you... You put them to mark your favorite station, which is kind of cool, actually. Good. You don't have to shout. Of course. They're tampering. They shut it down. It's just a loan for the... I'm in the stand on the corner at midnight. 
LA oldies. Wow. This thing rocks. Okay, how about we open the other one here? I'm assuming it's the same thing. Boy, this is detail and packing. Look at that. He put paper there to keep sticky from getting on the uh, handle. See, I can get away with just having AM here because we got killer stations that play really poppy music and it sounds good. They sound, these stations sound good on the right radio and this radio sounds good okay so this is the same thing uh, and this one looks like it's in a little better shape these must have been made for wait two integrated circuits 11 transistors two integrated circuits 10 transistors huh okay um, these must have been made for the export market, but yeah, I'm curious. Let's dig into this one. Okay, here we go. We're getting ready to rock out. Okay, well, let's look at this one. This one is different. Um, Look at the package of transistors we have here. I think this transistor is extra, this little orange one here. Uh, this is different, different components. I mean, it's kind of the same, but it looks like it's had one cap replaced. Let's see if I can see anything on that. No, that looks like. I don't know. Let's put power to it and see what it does. Why is the FM working on this? That's K Earth 101 right there. Did someone modify this? Pretty sure that's K Earth 101. I need to. It's a totally 80s Hello Weekend on K Earth 101. Number one station in Los Angeles market. He said we're gonna move it. Just like it. KLOS.
looks like it's modified. This is the classical station, 91 point. I think all presidents have I swear it's like it's been modified. There's no way that if those were images, it would be working that well. Because I think this is K-Jazz. You put the antenna down. Yeah, the, the sensitivity is kind of lacking. Oh. ...because of willingness, because of cynic... ...over the course of time, and you're going to see multiple elections, and more than like... Four milligrams of the world's most clinically researched natural form of This ONC tiene los dientes. Kind of traffic coming up in just about uh, four minutes, coming up on 211. Uh, because they all represented a client in the primaries. Instead of saying, hey, he did a good job. <laughs> Oh, yeah. AM Gold, two ply soft, reunited. It's what they used to play at every wedding back when we used to have weddings before those were banned. Sensitivity or the loudness on this one doesn't seem as hot as that one. Uh, but let me look at this. Actually, so look at these two coils. That slug right there is almost completely out. And that slug there has been removed. So did somebody tweak this thing to make the FM speed up? Okay, on this one, you can see that that is still way down in there. This one doesn't have one. So did somebody just speed the oscillator up on it? I can't believe all you have to do is pull a core out to make it go from, to change the frequency that, and it looks like this one here has been adjusted maybe. Apple just releases the Louisville Slugger official Dodgers 2020 World Series champions team. Okay, this is FM. I'm on, this is the one that's working on FM. This stunning keepsake sells for only $149.95 plus shipping. To purchase this historic collectible, call BigTimeBats.com or see the bat and bat sets on the web at BigTimeBats.com. That's BigTimeBats.com. Hey, it's just a little extra. Okay, that seems to be the oscillator right there. store is now open at 11907 Valley Boulevard in El Monte. WSS has a large selection with thousands of the latest styles from top name brands like Nike, Jordan, and Converse and Mott. Savings on your favorite designers just in time for the holiday. The best values always. Okay, that seems to be the. These two are the oscillators. This is Selena Gomez. What's up, guys? This is Post Malone. Do you think we're gonna play this 
Kiss music continues now. 102.7 Kiss. Kiss FM. Actually, why am I getting Kiss FM at the bottom of the band? Okay, I um, I don't know why the 11 transistor one picks up a lot of the st stations on our FM band here, and I, I I'm not going to get into try trying to tweak this one right now. I have to leave that for another day and really kind of look at the schematic, get a good printout of the schematic, and try and figure out what's going on there. Maybe put the scope on it and see what frequency the oscillator is actually running at in each one of these. Anyway, that's the uh, so called model three oh eight. USSR made AM FM weird FM lower FM band shortwave uh, medium wave radio. You could, if you like this kind of thing, you could get one of these off eBay pretty cheap and recap it, and it would be. Fine-ass radio. Nothing but the best. <laughs> 